Vaccines have been a hot topic at all levels of government this week, and Adam Hunter covers politics for CBC Saskatchewan and joins me now. Adam, the year started out so hopeful, people really excited to get those vaccines, and now we're seeing some real delays. Yeah, to give people a sense of how things have really slowed down over the past couple of weeks, about two weeks ago, there were more than 7,000 doses administered in Saskatchewan. And you go to, uh, about a week ago, we've gone down to uh, less than 2,000 doses. So uh, a huge drop. This is due in part to uh, Pfizer not sending any shipments to the province or the country uh, last week. So that slowed things down. And also the amount of, the amount of vaccine that the province was expecting has gotten lower and that is the case across the country and of course uh, this week uh, Premier Mo uh, just yesterday sent a letter before a meeting of first ministers saying he was uh, going to push the federal government on some more certainty around when vaccines can arrive and we know this is an issue uh, across the country in every province uh, with uh, some of the concern being raised to the federal government about more certainty needed but when vaccines are going to arrive how many are going to arrive so the provinces can plan and uh, this week, NDP leader Ryan Miley pushed the government on uh, what their rollout plan is going to be when we get into phase two. Now, the problem we have, Sam, is if there are uh, fewer vaccines uh, coming to Saskatchewan or we don't know how many are coming to Saskatchewan, then it's really hard to uh, you know, put in a plan and be able to tell people with certainty that there's going to be this amount of vaccine coming at this point in time. But Miley wants a, a more of a detail about who will get vaccinated, what the criteria will be, and when. We're hoping to hear from the provincial government maybe next week on a more detailed plan. Other provinces have put on something similar to what the NDP is asking for, so we'll have to wait and see on that. But as of now, the vaccine uh, rollout has really slowed down quite a bit in Saskatchewan. It's ramping back up because we're getting more vaccine, but uh, only 0.48% of the population as of yesterday has received the full two doses. Adam, it's really interesting that you say that the provincial government is hoping to have a rollout plan because at a standing committee of health this week, uh, the health minister basically said they're not getting any information from the federal government. Yeah, that's the pushback that the uh, provincial government has. And the health minister, Paul Merriman, you mentioned, uh, spoke in front of the federal government this week and in front of a committee. And his point was, you know, we need more certainty as the premier has been pushing for on when vac uh, vaccines will come. Of course, uh, Saskatchewan deciding uh, not to hold back second doses. So they're vac vaccinating more people and getting the vaccines out right away. But of course, they have a timeline. There's a, you know, a, a three week recommend timeline to get that second dose. It's been pushed out to in a certain circumstances, 42 days. And the province and Paul Merriman this week saying that they're worried about that being in jeopardy if they don't get those doses sooner. So uh, still a lot of question marks as to what the province can expect as far as vaccine shipments. And I should mention also that uh, Premier Mo mentioned this week that he talked to the CEO of Pfizer directly about vaccines and uh, the vaccine shipments. Now, we also saw the variant, or one of the variants, rather, show up in Saskatchewan this week. Not an overwhelming amount of cases, but the government really just seems to be operating at status quo. Yeah, we asked uh, Dr. Shahab last week and this week again about uh, what the province should be doing, what people should be doing now that the variants have been uh, found in Saskatchewan. Now, I should mention that uh, in, in the cases that the government has outlined, uh, they say there has been no transmission uh, of the variants uh, to the community. There's no evidence of that. But it's important to note as well that uh, Saskatchewan has a system now that they send certain samples out of province to Winnipeg for testing, which can take up to two weeks to see if there's a variant. So the cases we're seeing in Saskatchewan that are confirmed to be variants, these are from a couple of weeks ago. So uh, these variants have been seen to be more transmissible in other parts of the world. That's why there's a heightened concern about, around them. But uh, Dr. Shahab said this week, Sam, that people need to continue to do what they're doing, limit their outings if they can, keep their distance, wear their mask, do the same things we've been doing to try and limit the spread and keep your contacts low. Because if you are, uh, you know, do control track COVID-19, it's much easier for contact tracers, much easier for the for the uh, health officials to contain that spread if they know that you've only seen a handful of people. Of course, that's more difficult when people are going to work still here, going out and uh, going to school. So uh, we'll keep an eye on this. We know that uh, the variants are, are present in other provinces in larger numbers, but the federal government has limited international travel. Uh, in Alberta, next door to us, they found uh, variants not linked to travel. So that's something as well to keep an eye on. All right, thanks so much for this, Adam. CBC Political Affairs reporter Adam Hunter in Regina tonight.